But I wouldn't do nothing in this rain, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this is like music to my ears. Wow, I hope he likes it. Um, I haven't really talked about this on my channel, but my son was diagnosed with autism last year. You know, it's nothing I could do. I just haven't really, like, I don't know. I went back and forth with that. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday and it is so rain. The rain is crazy today, but I still made it out the house to get to the gym. So I'm excited about that. I'm staying on track, you guys. Even though I did not want to come out in this rain, y'all. It's like, I live in Southern California for you guys that don't know, and we normally don't get crazy rain like this. We had um, another wave of this last year, but they're saying this year is supposed to be worse than last year. There's flash flood warnings everywhere. Um, so just trying to stay safe, trying to stay dry out here. Um, but like I said, I am going to the gym this morning for my Zumba class. And then after that, oh dang, I forgot the paper at home. I was supposed to make a stop at this office to do something, but I left the paper at home. So I'm about to do that another day, but I'm going to try to bear the rain and go to the grocery store because I have to get some things. I'm not one to order my groceries. A lot of people order groceries, but I'm worried about that. Most of the groceries that I get are produce and I don't like pe other people picking my produce. So I'm just gonna have to go ahead and go to the store. So it is what it is. But today that's really pretty much that's all on the agenda is just the gym, the grocery store, and then pick up the kids and then they have their after school activities today. So, but I wouldn't do nothing in this rain, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm like over it, so, but yeah. Let's get it, let's go. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a great week when you guys are watching it. I hope you guys had a great week. Um, I'm counting on this being a great week for me. And just sending love and blessings to you guys and I will see y'all later. Guys, I'm so excited to find these. These are gluten-free, no artificial flavors, no colors from artificial sources. A fourth a cup of veggies. Sorry, my hand is wet from the rain. This is perfect for my son. I hope he likes these. I'm gonna get two boxes just in case. This is like music to my ears. Wow, I hope he likes it. This looks good. Um, I already like peppermint tea, but since it's a probiotic, that's even better. I'm gonna get some of this tea. guys so I just made it back home um excuse my edges <laughs> you guys know I went to the gym this morning so just excuse my edges I sweated them out so this morning was interesting because uh, my normal instructor on Monday she is very high energy she is amazing um her song choices we do a lot of hip-hop African dance 
um, salsa, merengue, a little bit of everything. It's a really fast paced, upbeat class. I usually burn anywhere from 500 to 600 calories. Um, amazing, love that class. It's the best way to start my week. I always talk about that. However, this morning, she was not there. She had a little bit of car trouble, I heard. And so when I walked up, there was this other instructor there and she was a complete opposite. Like she didn't even really talk during the class. Like she had a headset on, but she was very monotone. Like her movements were very stiff. She was giving cheerleader moves. And that's just not what we're used to in that class. And so it was interesting because I was walk as I was walking in, I got there like 9.58, the class starts at 10. I see some of the normal people that I see on Mondays walking out. I'm like, what is going on? And so then I see her walk to the door and I'm like, oh shoot, it's it's a like a sub. And she's like, oh yeah, I'm substituting for Ashley. Um, and so I'm like, okay. But I'm like, I'm gonna give her a chance because I'm already here um and ready to go so i might as well just give her a chance but i wouldn't i wouldn't take her class on my own um it wasn't terrible but i had to like pick up the pace myself like i had to do extra movement i had to like put a little extra oomph in there to kind of burn some calories because it was very slow like when i say that my son got his the phone on he coming back for another snack. Let me get him a snack and I'll be right back. So yeah, needless to say, it was very different. Um, she, my normal instructor will be back next week. So I am gonna text her and make sure she's okay. Or message her and make sure she's okay. But when I say the majority of the class left, there was maybe like 10 people there. And on a normal day, it's close to like 40 people. So yeah, some people didn't come at all because normally when you check in for the class, it tells you who the instructor is and everything. So I guess they switched it because they knew she wasn't coming. So I didn't register for class today. I just showed up. <laughs> so the people who did register, they knew ahead of time. So halfway through class, not halfway, like five minutes into the class, I look out the window and I see some of the regulars like huddled up um, outside by the equipment. So I'm like, what's, what's going on? Like, you know, is everything okay? And they're like, oh yeah, she's just not coming today. So we're not going to go. Um, yeah, I won't get into all that because I don't know who watched this. But anywho, she'll be back next week. So nevertheless, I went to the grocery store. Um, you guys saw me in Sprouts. Um, let me get the bag. Okay, so you guys saw me in Sprouts. Um, if you guys are not new here, you know that my son, he loves these little gluten-free crackers. Um, uh, mini, it's called Pamela's Mini Honeys. Well, they have been out of stock everywhere. Like, they're not on the Pamela's website. They're only sold um, directly through them and at Target. Target is completely wiped out. You can't find them in store anywhere and they're not available online. You can't ship them on Pamela's website. They're sold out. I don't know what's going on with that. But I talked about it a little bit here before. My son has food aversions. So he only eats a handful of things. And that's one of the main things that he loves. Like he eats them literally all day long. And so I'm like, I gotta think quick on my feet. The regular graham crackers, he doesn't like those anymore. So when I was at Sprouts today, I saw these that look similar. I can't remember if I bought these before. But I'm gonna try them out. They're gluten-free, plant-based, honey, gram style snacks. <sighs> Organic. I hope that he likes them. I don't know, child. He's, he only has like three packs of crackers left. And last night, I've been trying to ration them so he can have them at school. Um, last night, he wanted an extra pack. And I'm like, sir, you only have four left. You need them for school. So... I don't know what I'm going to do. Hopefully he likes these. Um, I haven't really talked about this on my channel, but my son was diagnosed with autism last year. And so part of that is food aversions for him. Some kids don't have food aversions, but with him, that's something that we struggle with. He um, is only prone to certain textures and um, it's only a handful of things that he will eat. Like he literally will not eat certain things Bes anything besides those handful of things lately he has been trying like different stuff like last night my son let my older son left his pizza out and he went and grabbed the pizza and ate it and we were like shocked so 
that's a struggle that we have with him is the eating. Um, I talked about, yes, buddy. See, look, he wants more. And I'm like, bro, you only got another, like one pack left. I'm just gonna let him finish them off and he's just gonna have to stop cold turkey because, you know, it's nothing I could do. So that is like one of the struggles that we have. I talked about it before, he's also nonverbal. I was gonna do like a sit down video to kind of just like talk about his diagnosis and like an update on his history. Cause if you're new here, he was born 25 weeks premature. I mean, he was born premature at 25 weeks. Um, so he had, he's had a bit of a journey um, since he's been born. Um, and then we found out his diagnosis. So we just had a bit of a journey with him, but we're happy he's here and healthy. Um, he's just nonverbal. He has food aversions, but um, he's an amazing kid. Anyways, um, I guess I won't get too deep into it um, because I kind of wanted to just kind of like sit down and talk about it one day. Um, I just haven't really like, I don't know. I went back and forth with it. I don't even know if I'm gonna show y'all this. <laughs> um, I went back and forth with it because it is a personal thing, but also I know there's a lot of autism moms out there who could, you know, give me advice and help. And as I learn things, I can also help those moms out there, out there who are new to this as well. So I think I will share it. I just haven't figured out, you know, how much I wanna say, how I wanted to say it. Like, so it's just kinda coming out right now. So here we go. But yes, that is his diagnosis. Um, he is in occupational therapy, speech therapy, he's in school. So those things have really helped us along the way, but the food has been a real, real struggle. Um, with communication, I don't know if you guys could just notice, like he kind of pulls me and like, like takes my hand and pulls me for things that he wants. Um, so that's kind of basically how he communicates. Um, he, he does know some sign language, but he prefers not to use it, so. He's also stubborn, so <laughs> that's just his character, his personality. Um, but yeah, so another win for me though with the snacks area is he loved Apple Jacks, um, but I stopped giving them to him because I felt like it was too much sugar, processed, like artificial flavoring, not Apple Jacks, sorry, Fruit Loops. Um, but today, when I was at um, Walmart, I came across these. And these are, I've never seen these before, so I'm guessing that it's new. It's the Veggie Blend Cheerios, and it has the apple strawberry flavor with spinach, carrots, and sweet potato. And they kind of look like Fruit Loops without like the blue and yellow coloring. So I'm hoping that he'll give them a try because he does like the regular um, Cheerios. I've been, we've been giving him the honey um, like Cheerios from Trader Joe's. Um, they're not gluten-free, um, but these are organic, no artificial coloring or flavoring, and they're gluten-free. We try to give him gluten-free because um, there are studies that show that um, gluten-free is best for autistic children. Um, he hasn't had any like issues. He's not allergic to gluten, but we just try not to give him gluten if we don't have to. Um, so I'm excited for him to try these, especially since the graham crackers are not in play right now. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so I'm gonna have to unpack these groceries. I'm going to take a shower because it's gonna be time to get Kendon soon. So I will see you guys later.
guys, it's much later. I'm back home. I just put my flowers together. Um, if you guys watched the vlog, the previous vlog, my husband and I did Valentine's Day a little bit early. Um, so we celebrated on Saturday and I'm just now putting my flowers in the vase, but it's done. Also, I want to show you guys really quickly what I got from Walmart. So they have these like, can y'all see me? The lighting is not that good. Um, so they have these clear bins on sale. These are actually the home edit um, bins for storing your, so these are actually the bins for storing your ornaments, but they were on clearance for $4. So I decided to grab two of them and I'm gonna use them to store the kids like projects from school and stuff that I'm gonna keep because um, I try to keep some stuff that they've actually done, like handmade things, things that they did really well or things that are memorable. Um, but I kind of just been storing them in like a regular bin, but I'm going to use these and put like file folders inside and then they're each going to have their own. And then I'll just keep like a little section for each grade and then just store them in the closet or garage or something. Um, because they've been bringing home a lot of projects lately and some stuff I do want to keep. I'm not keeping everything. I actually trash most of it, but the stuff that I do want to keep, I'm going to keep them in here. So they close like that and they were four dollars so yep that is pretty much it i need to actually take something out for dinner so that i can get that going because it's getting pretty late it's five o'clock so let me figure that out and all the people rose up and So here we are with another day of rain, y'all. But I made it to the gym. I'm dedicated, I'm still here. I just wanna show y'all I laid my edges this morning cause when I come back, they are gonna be a mess. I'll see y'all after I work out. <laughs> okay guys, we got two workouts complete. As y'all can hear, it's still pouring down raining. But, um, what was I about to say? Child, I don't know, I'm disoriented because <laughs> that was a lot. I tried to lift a little bit heavier today but I'm still learning like what's my sweet spot because some of the weights I had was too light and then I think I did a little bit too much. So I'm trying to find my sweet spot, but it was a great workout. Um, I'm here at TJ Maxx because I ran out of my black snail, like Korean um, kin scare, kin scare, <laughs> Korean skincare that I use. I ran out of the serum and this is where I got it from, TJ Maxx. I'm hope, hoping that they have some. If they do, I'm gonna get a couple of bottles because I absolutely love that stuff. Um, I've seen a significant difference in like how my skin feels when I use it. So I wanna make sure that I grab that. Really that's all I came here for, but we're gonna browse around and see what else they have. So let's go. So we're not gonna waste any time. We're just gonna go straight to the skincare. Uh, my friend is also here with me, but she just stopped for gas. So I'm gonna do a little bit of solo shopping before she comes in. I'm gonna stay focused. I don't need anything over here. I also wanna try to grab some more um, gym clothes because my pants are getting too big, which is a great thing, but I have like, um, now I have like a little saggy crotch in my um, pants, like all my pants. So I need to get some new pants. I'm gonna get some new jackets. Of course my jackets still fit, but um, yeah, I need some new pants. I don't see, I don't see my stuff yet. Let me see. Just on the other side. Last time, Korean skincare had its own section. Okay, so here is the moisturizer. Oh, this is the toner. This is the toner. I didn't get the toner last time. I don't really need a toner. I just need. Hey. Mm. I don't see it. See, that's the only thing about getting skincare from here is they'll have it and then they won't have it. So, that sucks. They do have a lot of stuff though. I do need some more vitamin C. 
I did use this before and I like this. So I'm gonna grab this. Um, this has peptides. Peptides are always good. I'm so sad if they don't have it. Mm. Okay, so they don't have, I'm gonna look one more time, but it looks like they don't have my serum that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna have to try another TJ Maxx. I haven't tried Marshalls. They might have it at Marshalls too. Uh, because I looked on Amazon and they didn't have that specific serum either. Um, so if I can't find it there, then I guess I will look on the actual website, which I've never done. Um, dang, like I said, that's the only thing about getting stuff here is like, you don't know when you'll see it again. So I don't know, but look at my skin. Like it does, it's so good. So I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. Girl, I'm looking all in the bucket. I'm like, is it in here? <laughs> Where is it? It might be down here somewhere. Hold on, let me look. I think I found it. Deep replenishing. I think this is it. Yeah, I'm getting two. I'm not playing these games. And then, what's this? This is a cream. I didn't use this kind of cream. I still have plenty of moisturizer. They also have this um, black snail mucin repairs dryness and aging, improve vitality. What I really like, what I really like about this one, is um, it helps boost radiance and skin elasticity. So that's what makes my face look like plump and they have, um, or supple, and they have the peptides. So the peptides is what makes your skin look more like smooth and supple. So I love this stuff and it's only $6.99. But y'all don't come over here and buy it all up, okay? Y'all don't know which one I'm, what location I'm at, so it's all good. <laughs> and then they have this repair cream. It says, with black snail mucin, firming and rejuvenating. Hmm. And they have a cleanser. I've never used this brand before, but if it has the same ingredients, then it works. This is all Korean skincare. So I also need a new vitamin C serum. Hmm. They have a Mirad. What is this? Hmm. It's a whole little kit. So that's cool. Um, that has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. I picked up this one. It has the vitamin C eye cream and the vitamin C with collagen. So I might get this and then I can use, um, I can go back and forth between that eye cream and this eye serum. So that's good. They got these ugly dirty sneakers that people like for 4 29 I'm so happy I found it. See, that's why you can't give up at these type of stores. You gotta just keep looking until you find it. Find what you're looking for. Cause I got a little bit of everything in here. This is cute. A little bag. This is a nice um, traveling backpack. It's soft, so you can like shove it under the seat of the airplane. And it has a little, um, it has a little pouch with it. This is actually nice. I don't really use backpacks, I usually use a tote. But $39.99, that's nice. This is a cute little travel tote too. Probably can't fit that much in here. I'll be stuffing my bags to the max, but that's cute. I would never get pink, but I love these type of travel bags because you can put your shoes at the bottom and you can really pack a whole weekend's worth of stuff in a bag like this. And you can take it as a carry-on. $59.99. Ooh, this is nice too. They got a lot of nice backpacks. I'm not a backpack girl, but this is really nice. What is that? It's called, it's by the sack. That's really nice. They got these things wrapped up tight too, honey. This is 
That is a very nice backpack. I like the material. It feels like textured but smooth. I like that. Oh, here's one right here. This is a better view of it. So you have a zipper, a zipper here, and then you have another zipper here to try to, you can like put your phone, like put your phone there. Another zipper inside. That's nice. Now everything has a flat bottom. I love that. So I'm just like bottle, bottle, bottle because I want to put my um, like my body splashes and yes, all that. Yes, like so there. cute. Like it. It's heavy too. And then this, cute. I want to fit my skincare. Yes. You know, have it elevated and sitting on. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh yes. <laughs> okay, CJ Maxx. I like these little things, but I don't know if I would want something like this just sitting on my counter. But this, it looks cute. You see? I don't know about that though. I'm coming. Pretty. I haven't brought, bought brushes in so long. Well, you was telling me to get a, um, what kind of brush was it that I this is a cute little two-piece lounge set. I have my size. That's cute. Like it is. You hear that? Oh no. So I made it to the school. It's raining so hard. I'm at the school to pick up Bryson. I'm sitting on the passenger seat. So we are finally home from all of our festivities for the day. The rain today was insane. Like I was literally driving 10 and two to pick the kids up from school. And as I was sitting out front waiting for them, like it was just buckets, buckets of rain. So happy to be home. 
Um, I didn't finish my Celsius today because I wanted to have some coffee. So I just made myself some coffee even though it's almost five o'clock. I just wanted some, you know when it's like cold outside and it's like gloomy and you want something warm. I didn't feel like having tea because I usually have tea at like right before I go to bed. So I just wanted some coffee. And this is actually a, um, a pumpkin spice pot. Is this blurry? Yeah, this is actually a pumpkin spice pot because my friend gave me some that she had extra from pumpkin season. And I like pumpkin spice, so it's December. I mean, not December, Lord. It's February, and I'm drinking it. And it's delicious. It's perfect for a day like this. So um, I'm going to have this coffee. Oh, let me show you guys what I got from TJ Maxx really quickly. So I kind of showed you guys in the store. I don't know why I like to show things twice, but just in case y'all missed it. <laughs> And I got some other things that I didn't show. I don't think I showed them, I don't know. So, I got these honey spoons for my tea. I need to find like a cute container to put them in. Um, for my, excuse Bryson. But yeah, I need to find a cute container to put them in. I also picked up this cosmetic cleaning mat for my brushes because I do need to clean my makeup brushes. And I bought like this little um, thing from Amazon that you put the brushes in and it spins, it's supposed to clean it, but it doesn't do a good job and it makes a mess. So I'm just gonna use this. Um, I also picked up this Brightening Duo Kit. It's by Province Beauty. It's natural and vegan. It is a face serum and eye cream. Yeah, it's a face serum and an eye cream. Um, it has vitamin C, collagen, glycerin, and peptides. Um, peptides are building blocks of protein that help to rebuild collagen and preserve skin's youthful appearance. So that's amazing. Um, and you guys know what collagen and vitamin C are for. Vitamin C is for brightening, collagen is, collagen is for elasticity. So yeah, love that. And this is like my fave right now. So I bought two of them. And this is the Black Snail and Peptide Perfect Alamo. I guess that's how you say it. Um, it's by Farmstay. And it's a deep replenishing um, serum. It helps to boost skin elasticity and radiance. And I really, and I really love it. Um, I use it every single day. So I got two because like I was saying like I was saying in the store, a lot of times when you buy skincare products or any product at TJ Maxx, it's like not very likely that you'll be able to find it every single time you need it. So I try to buy two if they have it. And then the last thing I got are these Halo um glasses. Um they're like cocktail glasses. They're short, short cocktail glasses. I thought these were really cute. And I don't have these, so it's a set of four perfect for a short glass of juice or a cocktail so yeah oh and then i also got this uh collagen and caffeine eye serum i've used this before and i loved it so i saw it so i was like let me go ahead and pick that up so that's pretty much everything that i got bryson is being very loud in here so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up i need to actually take the front of my hair out because i am getting a touch-up tomorrow so i don't have to be doing these baby hairs every day oh look they dusty and crusty today but um yeah so i'm gonna do that wash my hair and then i'll probably see you guys tomorrow hey guys so it is the next day um i got my hair touched up like i said um we're still on rating day schedule over here so not much to do around here yeah i went and got the kids from school and i'm about to go actually edit this vlog so i'm going to end the video here i hope that you guys enjoyed it make sure you like comment and subscribe share with a friend if you know people that like this type of content make sure you go ahead and share with them and i will see you guys in the next one bye